Samoshimo Association, please take us to the next level on um, how then we put all this to rest. And, no, uh, I, I, I think uh, from, from the comments of my colleagues, it is a very grave issue. In fact, the situation at TSC is a situation where angels would weep because of the magnitude of corruption. And uh, this requires a forensic audit. A forensic audit by the Auditor General, that must be done. It doesn't mean that being a constitutional and independent commission, mm. it is independent to commit crimes against the citizens, violate laws. Forensic audit from the DCI, forensic audit from EACC. And this may necessitate sending of the commissioners and chair home and the CEO so that this forensic audit can be done. If we are serious about regaining our lost glory of being the topmost education in a country in delivery of quality education. And these are the areas where forensic audit must be done. Mm -hmm. How teachers have been employed for the last five years. We've had, we've seen, we no longer see competitive advertisements in the newspapers for recruitment. Yet teachers are employed. And we know for you to be employed as a P1 teacher, you must pay one 350,000 shillings. And some of these employment letters are sold through government officers. To be employed as a graduate is half a million shillings. And to be promoted is 150,000 shillings. Uh, where will a poor teacher get money to do that? So one, forensic audit on how teachers have been employed at the Teacher Service Commission for the last five years. A forensic audit on how teachers have been promoted for the last five years. <coughs> a forensic audit on the financial system and transactions, particularly remittances of third parties, mm -hmm. where TSE gets kickbacks. If you don't get kickbacks, then your check off is put off or your remittances are, are, are discontinued. And then lastly, a forensic audit on policies that are unconstitutional and illegal. And I don't think Parliament is right to call for laws to amend. Mm. Let us first of all deal with corruption at TSC, clean it up. Mm. Once it is clean, then we can begin with developing legislation. Kenya is on the decline, and I repeat, these are indicators, Sami. And, and maybe all the media needs to open up and look at it. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, we were number one in global competitiveness in delivery of quality of education in Africa and access. But now we are number seven. Because when corruption took off, that is uh, when, when everybody knows. And I'm willing to be a witness in all these forensic processes. <laughs> As an insider who has worked Mo within this space, Sion, and I'm not being personal. It is uh, no, fair. no, no, no. So, sorry, Mr. Uh, uh, let me just say uh, this. It is not yeah. fair for you to accuse a person uh, of corruption. Uh, no, I'm saying, I'm saying so. It's a fact it is happening. Don't defend. Those are your don't, views. Don't, don't. Those are my views. Not of season. I'm two. ready to defend, whether it's in a court of law or anywhere. Because this is a fact. This is a very serious matter. We are talking about destruction of lives of children of this country. And this is vested in an individual who does that. That's a fact for sure. That's a fact. So when you look at teachers crying and, uh, and they're on strike and they're raising issues, it's like we are not listening. And, uh, and, uh, and the whole issue boils down to corruption and how they are managed, then I think we have a bigger problem. Let's do a forensic audit. Let us restructure TSC. Let us have teachers well managed. Let us regain our glory in the delivery of quality of education in this country. There is no shortcut about okay. it. Okay. Um, and those in those offices bear responsibility. And they are known I, I, by I, I, names. I hear you, Moshmo. Yes, they are and known uh, by uh, names. And they I have bear to say responsibility. here that uh, the claims you have laid here you've not backed them, it's an allegation. No, they're not allegations, they're evidence. <laughs> everyone what is everyone the evidence? talks about it. We, we are flushed even in, in, in these media houses, employment letters being flushed and released in out there. So what I'm asking is, it? how does that relate to the person of the I am sure you are not officer. a prosecutor. These are facts. I am not. Proceed and investigate. Those allegations live on citizens. You call us.